everybody, this is your weekend reading for the 21st, the 22nd and the 23rd. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got the Ten of Stones. The Ten of Stones is the Ten of Pentacles. Happy families, family reunions. Family reunions, all with friends and family. And um, that means an ending to difficulties and new beginnings. Perhaps you might have come into an inheritance. I'm sorry if that's the case in one way and another way. It's a new beginning, literally and figuratively, and it will be easier in one way, but you will miss the, your loved ones. My love and my best wishes go to you if that is the case. On Saturday, you have judgment. There again, you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. And judgment means a second chance or a new beginning. I hope you can see the phoenix. This is his head. And here are the wings. And those wings have rainbow colours. And usually you also see a rainbow in the traditional deck when you get the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. On Sunday the 23rd you have the Nine of Swords. You might be too much in your head. Don't worry and you might have sleepless nights. This could be if you've lost somebody um, remember, I'm reading for, uh, for thousands of people. There will be only a few that resonates with this. Um, don't worry, don't worry. You, there is help at hand to help you with your sorrow and to help you to deal with the business side. Remember, leave, give your, put your problems next to your clothes at night and let the angels and the universe deal with it on your behalf so that you can have a beautiful sleeping night to rejuvenate, to carry you through to this uh, new beginning and leaving the ending. A 10 is an ending and a 9 is an ending. You're going definitely into a new phase. Whatever happens, the phase will be beautiful. It will feel as if you are rejuvenated like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Now we're going on to Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the Queen of Vessels. And the Queen of Vessels is the Queen of Cups. And this is the, she is a salmon. She's depicted as the salmon. This could be a Cancer. This could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. You could be meeting a water sign Aquarius and they stand for love, passion, nurturing, caring, sensuality and sexuality, also spirituality or emotionality. Spirituality and emotionality and intuitiveness is spiritual so this is a very um, uh, what you call it, feeling person. So that is a nurturing person as well. For Saturday, you have perspective. That's the hanged man. You can see a lady hanging here. And there's no hands on the clock. So time is being delayed. You're in suspension. So this is also a spiritual card. The spiritual card means that it is advisable for you to take time out and um, to meditate or sit quietly and to evaluate, listen to the ideas that come into you. These ideas could come from a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. They might be your advisor or your mother or a good friend that gives you advice about the situation you find yourself in or with your question. Something is being delayed or suspended. So take your time and rejuvenate and evaluate the new ideas and the time that you are in suspension. The quicker you come to 
uh, an answer from within and you've got the other perspective, then perhaps you've found the answer to solve the delay. Again, on Sunday, you have the Eight of Cups. You want this be new beginning. But I always say with the Eight of Cups, don't throw away an uh, old pair of shoes before you've got a new pair of shoes. You want adventure and you want excitement. You can't just boom, just do it. If you do, if you do things in haste, you have to repent in leisure. So take the warning. Get, sit down, evaluate. Evaluate how you can start this new beginning or find this new beginning. What's the new beginning going to be like? Um, whose help can you uh, ask? Perhaps um, a professional if you haven't got a mother or somebody that is very important and could give you advice in your life. Just remember, sit down and think what it is, where you want to go, what you want to do and how you're going to do it. If you don't know, get advice. Now we're going to Pisces. And Pisces, your first card is the two of bows. The two of bows means the two of ones. And on this deck it means decision. Well, decision or a choice. You are making plans for the future. You are making plans for the future. Then you have the nine of pentacles. What is your wish? What do you wish in the future? Would you want more money? Would you like love? Would you like a house? Some, would you like a job that pays well so that you can sustain yourself? Anyway, the Nine of Pentacles means an end of a phase, a new beginning. This new beginning will be a better phase in your life than you have left behind. This new phase is a better phase and you're leaving a, a, a less good phase behind. Whatever happens, this new beginning is an improvement for the long term and it, it's, and it has durability. There might be offers for you, um, but make sure that you don't focus what is in front of you or what you don't have. Focus on what is happening around you. There could be more offers than one, as you have the Four of Cups. There are always more options. Usually you see uh, three uh, uh, cups fallen over and one is reached out by a hand through the clouds. So there are, the Divine is giving you an option. Okay Pisces, I hope it resonates. If it doesn't, have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign. And now we're going over to Aries. Aries, your first card is the Hawk. And that is the Knight of Arrows. The Knight of Arrows. And the Knight of Arrows means that you could meet um, a Gemini, a Libra or an a Aquarian. Um, they will be bringing news or you will get news through cyber. It could be one of these air signs and the news will come swiftly through email, telephone or text message. Aries, for Saturday you have the Wheel of Destiny, all known in other decks as the Wheel of Fortune. You might be moving home, you might be going on holiday, um, time is running out because you can see a clock. Perhaps you might have to take time with something, but I think time is running out because this also means an end of a face. So it is time for an end of a face. You're ready for a new beginning or be prepared for a new beginning. In your relationship, in work or in love, there could be a next phase coming to stand or coming in. If you are going out, you might be getting engaged. If you're engaged, you might be getting married. So your holiday away could be a honeymoon. You're moving 
could be moving in together. If you've uh, done good or bad, it will come back threefold to you. If somebody's done you bad or good, it will co go come back to them threefold. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. On Sunday, you have the Five of Swords. So be careful what you say or what you do and how you do it. Watch your intonation, as the Five of Swords stands for disagreements or war. Nobody will be the winner here. So, in order to maintain the relationship and go on to the next level, be careful how you act and what you say. Now we're going on to Taurus. Taurus, you have the green man. The green man is number four. That's the emperor. That is the emperor. And the emperor is higher than the king. The kings are, uh, the emperor has more countries or more land than the kings. And the emperor is also, and represents also the Aries sign. So, Taurus, you might be meeting the em emperor, the Aries. Okay. You could be seeking advice from the emperor. You could be seeking advice from the emperor. This could be a father figure or a professional. On Saturday, you have the guide, and again, you have the Hierophant, and the Hierophant um, uh, is also an advisor. This could be an advisor from a father figure or a mature man, <clears throat> and he is Taurus, so you could be meeting um, an Aries or a Taurus. He's also... He could be also a professional, so definitely you'll be seeking advice from somebody this week. Um, they both have experience and knowledge and life experience, and also they could be a head of an institution or a municipality. This could be um, a, a hospital, a school, um, uh, the tax office, social security, or um, an advocate or a lawyer. Now, perhaps you can't do that um, at the weekend usually because the offices are closed. So you might be planning to seek advice. And it could be with regard to a new beginning, judgment. Okay, here you can see the rising dead coming in and new life is given to them by the by Hermes, but in the traditional tarot, by Archangel Gabriel. <coughs> Gabriel blowing air into the new, into the rising dead. You've got a second chance or a new beginning. This is my card for the second chance, because they've lived before, but life is getting blown into them, so it is a second, second chance. It's not, it is a form for a rebirth, but if it is a birth, then it would be children. And here you can see grown ups. Now we're going to Gemini. And Gemini, we've got the King of Stones and the Wolf. The King of Stones is the King of Pentacles. You've got the Midas touch today. You've got the Midas touch on Friday the 21st. Every, if you've had, if you, uh, you know how to invest. You know how to um, uh, you know how to work. You know what work will last the longest, whether it's investing in goods or uh, shares or work or love, you are there for long term and durability. You nurture what you love. Your wife, the Queen of Pentacles, is Mother Earth as the e e Empress. So, Gemini, you might be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. And you could have success at anything that you do today, like the King of Pentacles with the Midas Touch. Have you got bad habits? Are you being beholden to somebody or are you being manipulated by anybody? Then tell them 
uh, that you no, well rather not tell them but you can if you want to get help and please leave them alone don't be beholden to anybody you are your own person and don't let anybody manipulate you like you I, I see this for the first time and I've seen this card in this deck a couple of times um, usually you see people with the hands free but tied on to the stone of the devil or the, the, the stage of the devil the pillar that the devil sits on but here the devil is the snake so don't let any slippery people tell you bind you down okay like here the snake is choking her you might feel choked in a situation then you are being manipulated or you feel beholden to somebody be your own person stand in your own strength gemini okay you're stronger than you think a relationship and friendships should be in balance whether it's with a man or with a woman Re friendship means loyalty trust and respect and being there for each other not somebody be you're not being a slave of somebody or somebody being a slave of you if you've got a bad habit gemini stop it do something about it and on sunday you've got the knight of cups so you might be getting an offer of love an offer for a job or you might be meeting a water sign and that is a cancer scorpio or a pisces or he will bring you news and this could be on friday saturday or sunday but it's lying in the position of sunday now we're going to now we're going to cancer and cancer you have the wanderer the fool a new beginning you don't know everything that has to be known you are just taking a leap of faith if you can get more information then make sure that you do some more research for example itineraries if you are traveling um, if you're moving home are the movers coming on time have you got everything every t uh, crossed and every i dotted well make sure forewarned is forearms on saturday it's time to take time out or do a small retreat so make sure that you go somewhere and sit quietly or be on your own be quiet and meditate or sit quietly and listen to the uh, answers that come up or what your gut feeling is telling you write the ideas down so that you can evaluate uh, the situation at hand okay and on, and on sunday you have the seven of pentacles what you sh sow you shall reap but remember if you've sown ideas or things then <clears throat> it will take time for it to grow before it will harvest time perhaps if you have already sown uh, seeds then you might be harvesting over the weekend that's why you've got this new beginning your harvest is coming in and perhaps you don't know it it could be an unexpected savings account uh, that you've had and you've forgotten about it and you find it back in your books wow cancer good luck now we're going over to leo and you've got the seven of bows that's the seven of rods and that means clearance in this deck and clearance uh, could be um, that you are defending yourself and standing your ground and you'll but you don't sometimes you don't it, there is no need to defend yourself leo and especially not you because you're strong and patient you take your time and then pounce so anyway your um, clearance could be you you are clearing the air by defending yourself you're giving uh, your point of view you are clearing the air boom clearance there you go and so you don't have to 
defend yourself anymore because there will be victory as you've got the chariot and here you've got Pegasus Pegasus full of fire you are full of fire you are a fire sign your roar is worse than your attack you've got recognition you've got public recognition you've got victory you're going forwards and upwards you might be moving home you might be going on holiday and say ciao i don't want to be here i'm fed up with all this um arguing or discussions I'm taking time out, I'm going on holiday. But you have got recognition, so there might be somebody <coughs> that has an eye on you, and that could be a Cancer, as Chariot is being represented by Cancer. Or Cancer represents the Chariot. And, of course, we have the Sunday card, and that's the Hermits. And that could be a Virgo. So it could be a Virgo that has an eye on you as well. This could be a headhunter. A headhunter that seeks people for companies. As you've got public recognition or a new love. So it could be a Cancer or it could be a Virgo. You are taking time out by the because this is the holiday card or the moving home card and this is taking time out card or an, uh, an advice card to take a retreat so I think you'll be going away for a short break and you will meditate or sit quietly and uh, evaluate and after evaluation you will throw away what is of no use to you um, be it knowledge, be it friendships be it acquaintances, but you, you are making your load lighter and you will take your knowledge with you. Um, and your knowledge is your, your knowledge that you've gathered on your journey up till now and your life experiences. Okay, so that is a beautiful reading, uh, Leo. And I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, then um, look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Now we're going to Virgo. And Virgo, you have the Queen of Stones. That's the Queen of Pentacles. And that is the bear, Mama Bear. And she is Mama Bear. She's Mother Earth, like the Empress. And, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so... Um, the Queen of Pentacles also represents the um, Virgo. So you might be meeting a Virgo, yourself Virgo, and you are in your element today. Um, this could be on Friday, but also through the weekend, as this is your weekend reading. She stands for uh, birth, this fertility, birth. This could be birth of a child or birth of a project like meeting somebody or new work. Uh, she also stands for growth and heart blossoming and harvesting. So if you have invested in something, you will see the return. And you could be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus, but she does stand for Virgo. So that is prominent. Then you have the Five of Pentacles. You might feel left out of uh, a group, family or friends. Don't worry, you can see the heavenly gates. Saint Peter is at the gates, you're not alone and the angels are around you. They've got your back. This is only for a short while. This is also a card that says get out there, mingle with people, get to know new people so that you can switch from one group to the next group so that you don't have to feel left out. Go outside, don't isolate yourself, and look what you've got coming. The Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true, or your goal. Wow, there is an end to a phase. I told you it's short-lived. So this weekend, you'll start a new cycle, a new phase. Now we're going on to Libra. Libra, you've got the Seven of Vessels, the Seven of Cups. And it, it's morning in this deck. It says morning, but it stands for um, uh, goals, 
and wishes. You are dreaming. You're in your head. Don't build any castles in the sky. Make these goals and dreams realistic so that you don't have to mourn. If you are in mourning, then I'm sorry. I wish you all the love and strength that I can give you. Come into the life and enjoy in the healing. Join in in the healing, sorry, and perhaps that might help. Then you won't feel alone. So make your pro and cons list. That's what I always say with the Seven of Cups. And make a and take action by manifesting. Make a visionary board. Get to know what you want. Let the universe and the angels know what you want. If you want a job, go out and seek a job. Stick it on your stick a picture. If you want to be nurse, a nurse, stick a picture of a nurse on your visionary board. And if you can, if you pass it a couple of times a day, then you just say hi, nurse, and that just. Boom, hits the nail on the head for the angels and the universe to pick up on your energy. Now, that is definitely what you want. For Saturday, you have the moon. You might be meeting a Pisces Libra and listen to your intuition. You might be emotionally um, sensitive. This could be on intuitive basis, emotionally and psychically, uh, as we are in the Mercury retrograde as well. There are things that you don't know and you need to do more research. But follow the light on your path because, path because you are on the right path and listen to your intuition. Okie dokie, you're in the spotlight and something is illuminated so somebody has an eye on you. That could be the Pisces. On Sunday, we have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords means that somebody is sneaky or could be mean or sne sneaked away, didn't want a confrontation. This could be that Pisces, okay? And now we go back. Um, so now we go to, uh, sorry, Libra, Scorpio. And Scorpio, you've got the Nine of Bows. The Nine of Bows. And in this deck, it says respect. The Nine of Bows is the Nine of Wands. You've come through the walls and now you're taking a rest. So that is indeed true. We should have respect or you should have respect for yourself that you've kept on holding on and you were determined to get to the end. The nine is an end of a phase and a new beginning. On sun Saturday, you've got the hermit and the hermit means that you it's time to take time out. And the hermit uh, means also meditate or sit quietly and evaluate and write down your ideas that come in and your intuition, your feelings. And then you can re uh, relate this once you're out of your peace, you might discuss it with a best friend or think about it and re-evaluate it. And throw away what is of no use to you. Make your journey through life lighter. You've got the wisdom, you've got the experience, that is what you should take with you and leave the negative behind. At the end of the weekend, I can't do it any, I can't choose the cards, I just shovel them and I put them in three different piles. So that's why you've got three options. Okay, the energy of the weekend, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. There is an ending to heavier times and you have taken time out, you've recuperated, you've rejuvenated, you've learned from the past and you're going into a better period. A Ten is also an end. So there is a new beginning. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to Sagittarius. Last but not least, you've got the Eight of Stones. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Recognition for your hard work. You will get that promotion perhaps this week after this weekend. Or you definitely have reaction. Sorry, re well, you have a reaction because you've got recognition. Then you've got the King of Cups. You've got the King of Cups and the King of Cups. He is could be an advisor. He could be your father. 
Um, he is a wise man. He can communicate. He does the walk and the talk. Okay, and he stands for justice, and he stands for clarity, honesty, and um, yeah, he is also he is also humoristic. Perhaps you might meet a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian with humour, and you might start a relationship, Sagittarius, with a Gemini, man or woman. But the woman most probably will be more businesslike. So there you go. Um, or your partner might have air in his sign. Who knows? The air signs are Libra and um, Aquarian and Gemini. I'm getting tired because I've done anything, something like seven videos today. My excuses. And... It's Friday night and I want my night off as well and I'm going, I want to take a rest before I go live. And the last card, that is Sunday, um, Sagittarius, and you've got the Hanged Man. There might have been delays or the will could be delays for four hours, four days, four weeks or four months. So you might be right in the middle of four months or four weeks. So take get another perspective and I think you had Hanged Man in your week reading as well for the coming week. Okay, so get an other perspective and uh, the usual time that you ha have delays or something is suspension to gather your strength, center yourself, because this is also a spiritual uh, card. Look at the hawk, getting an other perspective of things, a helicopter view, see what you want and how you're going to do it. Use your time wisely and love yourself, nurture yourself, take time out and rejuvenate. I hope you've liked this, uh, uh, these readings for the weekend, for the 21st, 22nd and the 23rd, and I'll see you in the life, and if not, next week. Be blessed and please give us the thumbs up and share with family and friends. Ciao, ciao.